All right, Spokane Zone, Neil Everett, the Spokane Pride runs deep with you. How cool is it to have the Zags in your town this week? Well, uh, you know, I, I, I figured that if they advanced, they would be, this was before the brackets were announced, mm -hmm. and I figured they'd be west, and if they made it, they'd be across the street. So I made sure I asked <laughs> in advance, much in advance, to have Thursday off. Uh, so I could watch him play, and then I said I might as well take Friday too yeah. to get prepared for Saturday, uh -huh. mentally prepared. So yeah, listen, I'm a I'm a huge few fan. Uh, you know, Coach Munson, going back to there, the first college basketball game I ever saw was Coach Fitzgerald and Gonzaga way back when. Uh, I used, to, you know, I was in high school the same year as Stockton. I'd say I shut him down, but that would mean <laughs> I was guarding him from the bench while he was crushing us. So uh, yeah, you know, my my. My pride for Spokane is immense. So you were sweating it out like everybody else last week. Oh, <laughs> I'm a wreck. <laughs> I'm like standing up, walking around the room, you know, just, you know, screaming at the, make your free throws. Yeah, <laughs> it was a problem all tournament long. Well, yeah. What do you think? I mean, you, you talk about knowing this program since uh, the, the 80s, early 90s with Fitz. It's got to be mind-blowing to see what it's become the last 20 years. Well, you know what? Now it's, I think it's kind of expected because yeah. there's, a, there's a level of ex excellence. So there's an expectation, and it's always manage your expectations, anything in life. And now with Gonzaga, it's like, no, we expect Gonzaga to win the West Coast Conference, and we expect them to be in the field. And then we expect them to win the first two games. I mean, listen, they played for the national championship last year, so all bets are off. And, you know, Tommy Lloyd and that coaching staff and few, I mean, they recruit an incredible, you know, it's the, you know, the melting pot of, of, <laughs> of the world, and they find these guys that are, you know, they're great basketball players, and then they do a great job uh, of playing together because I think, I think that's kind of a sense of Spokane and Gonzaga, like we are one, and it's like we're part of this community, and, and that team is, that's why those teams are special. Mm -hmm. You're, I mean, you obviously have your hands full. You're hanging out with Ben Harper. You're doing stuff with the Stanley Cup. How closely can you actually follow the Zags through the course of the season? Well, when they're on, I'll turn on the little TV downstairs and try and follow them as okay. best I can, especially when they're playing St. Mary's mm -hmm. or BYU, because those are kind of the two toughest teams. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever they're in town, I usually make it to one of the games. And if I don't make it to one of the games, I make it to one of the post games. <laughs> Uh, They're probably better than the games themselves. Yeah, and so uh, in fact, I'm, I'm expecting a call from Tommy Lloyd to let me know where we're at tonight. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I, I keep an eye on them as best I can. How much do you enjoy just kind of thumping your chest with that, that 509 pride? I mean, there's not a ton of people out there that, you know, have roots like you and obviously the platform you have now. We see it all the time on SportsCenter. You take a lot of joy in shouting out Jack and Dan's and yeah. former Spokane Indian, all that sort of thing. Yeah, the P.I. I've got to give the P.I. more credit yeah, that's right. now, too. Some uh, square cut pizza yes. and all oh, that. Yeah, the pizza's good. In <laughs> fact, my voice is on their answering machine. Really? Yeah. So, um, I have to give them a call. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love, you know, I have nothing but great memories, you know. I mean, I spent you know, 18 years in Spokane. So, and it's, uh, it's a whole nother chapter of my life, but it was, uh, it, was a, it was a great chapter, it really was. How often do you get back? I usually make it to uh, Spokane once a year, maybe, yeah. and I go out to Coeur d'Alene usually. I was gonna say, what, what's on the itinerary? What do well, you there's, to a get back to? there's the uh, Community Cancer Fund, uh -huh. which operates out, yep. of, out of Coeur d'Alene, uh, which, which has been a, a big deal for Northern Idaho. Mm -hmm. And um, so I like to be a part of that because, uh, you know, because of what it's doing to uh, help fight cancer. And any, any reason I can get up there is a good reason for me. How much are you able to uh, get in touch with Coach Few, talk about Tommy Lloyd? You know, and you did I, an interview with him not long ago, Few, right? Yeah, well, Few was here for the Champions Lounge. In fact, they just asked me, do you want to interview Few tomorrow? And I said, I just talked to Few. So, <laughs> uh, you know, let him be. Uh, you know, it's not like I don't want to talk to him, but it's, you know, I mean, he's going to say Villanova's the team that they had the toughest uh -huh. time with, and, and, you know, we could talk about the past games, but I'm like, hey, man, let the, let the guy prepare. Uh, you know, it's times like this that I definitely become more of a fan mm -hmm. than, than whatever we're called uh, doing this job. So uh, I'm, all, I'm all in from a fan. In fact, I just called my friend Glenn Dumas, who I went to Lewis and Clark with, and I said, hey, man, I got us tickets. Do you want to go? And he said, I can't. And I wrote him back. What? And then he, and he goes, <laughs> forget I ever said that. I'll be there. And, uh, you know, every time that Gonzaga has been through here, we've made it. And Steve Hertz, the old baseball coach, has just been a dear friend uh, uh, and has really helped out in, 
and me getting to see some of the games. Nice to see a few more Zags in your town this week. I mean, you know how yeah. they travel during the tournament. Oh, yeah. I figured it's going to be pretty <laughs> heavy. <laughs> yeah. Not for nothing, but there isn't a lot else to do, okay? <laughs> Let's follow the Zags. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned LC. They had a nice little run this postseason. I don't know how much you're able to. They, they yeah, hit their my guy the right Effenberger time. has sent. sent yeah. Me, yeah, he sent me the shot that he uh, he beat Ferris with. Uh huh. I'd start. He had he had sent me a he had sent me a letter or something at one point. He sent me a Lewis and Clark shirt and a hat. And so he's my favorite Tiger. He's got one year left. And uh, he's good. So, so I've been able to follow him. I think we finished third in state. He yeah, said. they yeah, beat, beat Richland, and that was hated were, Richland. Yeah. hated Richland back in the day. They were undefeated going into the postseason, yeah. lost the prep, and then you guys got them to the third place game. So that was, that was big time. Yeah. Was a big finish for the Tigers. Yeah. See, I hated prep back then too, but now I don't because that's yeah. that's all Spokane, you know. So. Liam Lloyd, now Tommy's kids playing for them. They just won oh, the is state he? title. Anton Watson is going to be a Zag. He's their star player. So all right, yeah, be careful what you say. All right, about yeah, prep. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it, Neil. Thanks. You bet, man. You bet. Go Zags.